Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So Brave has released Brave version 1.82 with Chrome version 140, which is now the latest release. And the update rolled out late yesterday on the 4th in my part of the world. Now, something just to take note of is Brave says that this is only for Windows and Mac OS. No mention of this rolling out, this latest release rolling out for Linux. So not too sure what's going on there. But nonetheless, after the update has been applied for Windows and Mac OS, browser version and build 1.82.161 and the Chromium platform 140.0.7339.80. Now just to focus on the Chromium security fixes, which will also be our weekly security fixes that have rolled out in this latest version. There were six security fixes that have been rolled out and one of those that's been fixed is a high severity use after free in the V8 JavaScript engine and the rest are mediums all listed as inappropriate implementation and thankfully there are no zero days that need to be patched or any critical vulnerabilities. So six security fixes have rolled out in total with this latest Chromium security update. Now, like most Brave version upgrades, there's quite a lot going on in this latest release to version 1.82. And first of all, if you are using the wallet, Web3, the cryptocurrency side of the browser, once again, we get add-ons, updates, and a fix for the wallet, which is common. Brave does focus a lot of their attention on the actual wallet. And then Brave Leo, the AI side of the browser, if you are using the AI chatbot, there's quite a bit going on here. Just to go through some of these as quickly as we can. They've added Gemma 312B to the list of preloaded models. And then Brave has added the ability to add tabs as attachments by mentioning them starting with at. So that may be handy if you are using the AI chatbot and then just to mention the next they've also added support to display markdown formatted tables in Brave Leo responses and Brave says it's also updated the padding of the send and the tools buttons so that's a bit of a UI interface tweak and adjustment and then there are three fixes rolling out for Brave Leo so quite a lot going on in that department with that AI chatbot then moving on to the general side of things, where if we head into our settings, head over to appearance, Brave says that it's added theme and colors and toolbar side panels to this page, the appearance page, which I think is quite nice. So you can change light, dark, device, customize toolbar, and you've got different options for the color palette and so on and something else that they've done is that if you are using downloads in the download bubble when it appears on your toolbar Brave has added a delete button to the downloads panel which I also think is a nice move and just to mention the next again they've added the ability to show hidden entries in the filter list sections and then just to mention the next Brave says it's added the ability to show hidden entries in the filter lists section under brave settings shields and filters and then there are one two three security fixes for the browser which are taking place under the hood so that's important and brave says it's improved ad blocking now i've always said that brave shields in my personal opinion is one of the best so if they are improving that even more then that's definitely a move in the right direction. And they've also improved the ad block content picker design. So that's a user interface tweak. And then there are three fixes rolling out, just to mention one of them, because the other two are taking place under the hood. Brave says it fixed the tab search button being displayed when disabled and vertical tabs are enabled. So that's a niggly issue. And then something I have noticed, which wasn't mentioned in the release notes, is we get a whole bunch of new backgrounds for the new tab page. So if we just refresh this, 
a whole lot of new backgrounds have rolled out, which I think is nice. And it's great to see Brave every couple of months updating the background images just to keep things fresh in regards to the user interface. And just as a side note, to turn on those Brave backgrounds, you just come, you just come to the Customize button in the panel, the dashboard, and you can toggle those on, show background pictures and so on. So, so that's more or less, guys, what's new in Brave version 1.82 with Chrome version 140. And we are still waiting for Microsoft Edge to be bumped up to Edge 140. And I'm sure that update will roll out later today in my part of the world. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.